Oh god. Ugh. Every day I get a little bit just more tired when I wake up. It's getting annoying, honestly, at this point. Good morning. Hi, Pear. Hi, Puddle. Don't worry, I got you breakfast. Uh, let's give you guys chicken. That seems to be your guys' favorite. Here you go. <laughs> I'm sure Svana will be picking you guys back up as soon as we get the cure. Don't worry. She didn't forget about you guys. And you guys can visit whenever you'd like. I'll come visit you guys once you're back at her house. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's tend the garden. <sighs> Good morning. I wish it was a better morning, but hey. <sighs> oh. It almost feels like my entire body is just achy and sore. Like I ran a marathon even though I've been resting this whole time. Well, besides when I've been researching stuff down in the the magic room, if you will. <sighs> it's really strange being in a different world where modern medicine doesn't exist. And people who study medicine are quite rare. <sighs> I don't know. We'll make sure to find it. I mean, if we don't look on the bright side, I mean, nothing's gonna change unless we do something about it, so being sad that it's not fixed already isn't going to help anything, so might as well keep trying to find out what'll help. I have found that more rest obviously helps me feel better in the mornings. I go to bed earlier now than I used to, but also I've been trying to just kind of stay on the land and tend to my farm and pick crops and that's about it. <laughs> I miss adventures, I miss researching in the library for hours on end, falling asleep with a book in my hands, and... I've been stuck here. <coughs> Damn cough hasn't gone away either. I wonder how they first found out that Venom did something like that. Did they just add it as an ingredient in something for the hell of it and find out that it fucked up the people that ate it? We can't waste time. I know we'll survive. I mean, well, we won't, but I know that if we die from this, we'll be resurrected. It's a matter of, it's taking forever for us to heal, and, or rather, to reincarnate, um, and it's, it's strange, I, I just wish that, I just wish there, wish there was an easier way for us to get out of this. I hope there is actually a cure, because... If not, we're going to waste time waiting for us to pass on and then come back, and we can't afford to waste time like that right now. We need to keep going. We need to... We need to defeat the Vampire King. We have to. We need to figure out where the Vampire City is and stop whatever it is that is going on. They dictatorship or tyranny or whatever it may be, I need to figure out where it is. Hopefully we will soon. I have a feeling we're getting closer, but at the same time, we're getting closer, but we can't do anything about it, if that makes sense. We have more resources and people to talk to, but we can't do anything until we find this cure. It's, it's getting annoying, honestly. I should probably harvest some of this bamboo. It's kind of getting overgrown. Probably would be smart to harvest some of it so that 
the ones that are here can grow a little bit easier. Hey, little guy. You want some bamboo? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> At least the illness isn't contagious. I love the little home we've built here. Made our own little life. Hey, I mean, while we're trying to look on the bright side, maybe it's a good thing that it ended up that we got sick. Not with the fact that we got sick, but the fact that now we have more time to prepare ourselves for what's ahead. Maybe. I think I'm just looking for anything to be happy for at this point. <laughs> I hate being this pessimistic. I... I hate it. I... I just... I want to be able to just be... I just... I just want to be able to wake up with a smile on my face without any pain. Eventually, I'll be back to that. Let's get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. I'm running out of room. Drop off some of these. And... Drop off the rest upstairs. <sighs> My armor. I haven't put that on in a while. No reason for me to. I haven't been going out at night at all. <sighs> it's so weird. Um, Zumi? Oh! Uh, Neoma! Uh, it's actually really nice to see you. I. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, you're working right now? Um, are, are you busy, I mean? Not really, I just been keeping myself busy since there's nothing really else for me to do besides research, so. Yeah, um, speaking of research, have you found anything? Cause I mean, I'm gonna be real honest, I, Sicknesses and stuff, it isn't my forte, and yeah, um, I don't really know. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, uh, come on inside, uh, I'll, I'll show you the little bit that I have researched. All right, so, um, how have you been doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. these are Svanas, <laughs> I've been watching them since I've been at home sick. Svana thought it'd be good for me to have company, so she dropped them off here. That was very nice of her. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, come on downstairs. Uh, this is where I've been researching stuff. Oh. It, it, have I seen this before? Uh, I don't think so. Not many people have. Yeah. Um, <coughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will be. Uh, once we find the cure. So. Yeah. Uh, so I've been looking at tea brewing and stuff, and there are some teas that can help with illnesses, but I doubt any of them would actually help with vampire venom. Sadly, it seems like there's far too little research on vampire venom and how to cure it, because, well, it's not very frequently that you ingest vampire venom. Um, the only type of research that there is on it is when you become a vampire, but the problem is we didn't get bit. We just ate it, so... Yeah. It's a little bit different. Um, Svana also gave me the soy milk that she thinks might have been contaminated. Um, I don't think that it's contaminated. I've done a couple like rounds of different, uh, basically looking at the different components of it and stuff, and it just seems like regular soy milk to me. I probably still wouldn't drink it. Kind of sketchy, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't think that's the exact reason why, though, that we got poisoned. I think that it was in the food Willard made, which sucks because I, I trust Willard. He has helped us so much, and I hope that none of the other Fallen Stars think that he did anything wrong, because I can tell that it was that guy that was at the party that we thought was sketchy from the very beginning of when we saw him. I yeah. guarantee you he just snuck by the table, dropped some blood in one of the dishes, and we didn't think to check if there was anything in the food i mean now I we mean, know to be more careful 
Yeah, I mean, th- there was no way we could have known that, though. Yeah, no, I, I don't think anyone's really to blame here besides the vampires. Yeah. And even then, I know some of them are good. I've heard stories of the fact that they don't want the Vampire King in power just as much as we do. Really? Yeah. Um, after the war, a lot of them became basically refugees and came here, even though their side won. Hmm. I have a feeling that the Vampire King isn't very fair even to his own subjects. I mean, hey, that's what the goddess said that summoned us here, and I I hope that everyone in the end gets help, and I hope that we can help them. But first we have to handle this stupid sickness. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, it's pretty inconvenient. Very. Um, I did have an idea, though. I thought maybe if we talked to Willard, we'd learn more about the friends he brought up the other day. Right, he did bring that up. I thought it'd be a good idea, since that's really our only lead for a cure. Yeah, that that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let's, let's go. I'm getting impatient with this whole <laughs> entire thing, honestly. This will be my first trip into town, honestly, since I've gotten sick. I've only really been traveling to... I started building a railway so that the people that live on the other side of town can get to the guild hall faster. And that's really all I've been doing outside of sleeping and tending the land I live on. Yeah. So, it'll be nice. I don't really... I don't really go out much either way, so... (laughs) Well, you're always welcome to my house if you ever want to get out, but you don't really want to go into town. I appreciate it. Of course. I love this little mushroom area, it's so cute. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how they make houses out of mushrooms. I'm assuming it's some sort of magic ability, like where they can like supersize the mushrooms, or they might be like that naturally, I'm not sure. And they just hollow them out. Hmm. Whatever it is. Mushroom manners is very, very interesting. I want to learn more about it. I've also heard that mushroom nymphs are normally nocturnal, so that's probably why we don't see any during the day. Yeah, with how mushrooms work, I I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past that. Yeah. Have you tried giving anything to the goddesses in exchange for items? Um, once for a project I had. Huh. Did they give you your stuff? Um, actually, I think I saw a chest in my house. Oh. So, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I, I one time asked them and I just left them like a flower <laughs> and I asked them to help me with, uh, I wanted a beehive really bad. And I looked on the tree outside, and all of a sudden there was a beehive, so, hey. (laughs) Oh, I also built this. Um, I I built this before I started getting really ill. Um, Right after the party, basically, the next morning. Um, I wanted something to distract me, and uh, the locals said to make it for Nemzi, because she is the goddess of summer, so. Thought it was pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it looks nice. Thanks. I hope the goddesses are telling us the whole truth, you know? I, I'm not really sure about that. If they were telling us the whole truth, they would have told us everything from the get-go. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to talk to them one day and ask all the questions that have been festering in our minds this entire time. Hopefully, but I, I'm not really very trusting that they'd do that. I don't know enough about the goddesses to know even their personalities, really. I mean, there's a little bit in, like, history books about, like, how they act and stuff, but, I mean, I feel like it's quite biased because it's written by the people that praise them, so. Yeah, you can't really trust texts written by people, or by anyone, really. It's (laughs) all down to 
experience, I suppose. Yeah. I hope Willard's in. I know he was out of town for like two days. Oh? For what? I'm assuming just to grab more like supplies for the for the tavern. Oh. Nah, <gasps> Willard! <laughs> well, hello there. Hi! Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm doing well. Uh, although I... Not to be rude, you look... Um, well, you might have seen better days. So, we no definitely have. Yeah. yeah, we uh, definitely have. Here, uh, um... Try this. Oh? It's nothing special, but it might, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I mean, my throat was pretty scratchy, so it kind of soothed it a little bit, so thanks. Well, that's good. Well, can I get you guys anything to eat? I... Uh, soup would probably be nice. Yeah, soup. <laughs> All right, soup it is. Let's see. Do you want to join us and uh, uh, we can hang out over by the fireplace? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, huh? All right, here you are. How much would that be? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, oh. It's on the are house. You sure. Yeah, oh. no, absolutely. Thank you. All right, Willard. thank you. Of course, of we course. We appreciate it. You, uh, wanted to talk. Yeah, um. Uh, yes. We were wondering if we could learn more about your friend you were talking about, or friends. Oh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I was uh, doing a bit of pondering on that myself, uh, and the more I thought about it, the more I realized. Uh, I'll get to my friend I mentioned in a moment, but there's a, a more, I'll call them uh, useful in this situation. At least I think they would be. Um, they're a friend of mine. Their name's uh, Bonnie. They're a botanist. Uh, they live in town. They run a little flower shop for cute. Like, oh, okay. But they all do, they do all sorts of potions and different herbal medicines, and oh. I'd imagine maybe they might have something to combat at least the symptoms, if nothing more. Um, okay. To be honest, I, I'm not all too certain. I've never really gone through what you two have gone through, so... Uh, yeah. Um... Well, uh, we'll have to talk with her sometime soon. Um, you said her name's Bonnie? Yeah, uh, Bonnie. How do you know her? Oh, me and Bonnie, we go way back. <laughs> uh, way back to our adventuring days. Well, really? Uh, yes, yes, uh, they were quite the, well, I, I suppose you'd call it a fighter. Not much with a sword, though. They're pretty crappy, but, uh... <laughs> they're pretty good. They're very kind. Oh, well, that's good. We'll definitely talk to them, then. Yes. That sounds like a great idea. Um... Yeah. So, hmm. if they used to adventure with you back in the day, are they around your age, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, well, uh, maybe... Maybe a few years younger than me, but... Yeah, they're they're about the same age as me. Okay. Um well, uh that's a very good first lead, so we appreciate that a lot. Of course, of course. And what of your other friend? Oh, oh yeah. Um uh well I uh I did some thinking. He's um he's more of the brute force type. His name's, um, well, it's Wukong, Sun Wukong, if you want to call him by his full name. But he responds to just Wukong. <laughs> he, uh, he, he's an interesting fella. Been around for as long as I can remember. Um, strong, definitely strong. Um, but he's, um, he's cocky. You've mentioned Some that. Yeah, sometimes a little more than he probably should be. I see. He argues that he's the strongest there is. Not certain exactly how honest that is, but 
I mean, I haven't seen him lose, so. Yeah, I mean, I there's nothing possible. wrong with nothing wrong with being cocky if it's true. Yeah, if it's true, though, I'd be willing to test him on that. <laughs> well, um, as far as I'm concerned, he's not much for visiting. He only really ever comes around here. To, well, not certain why he doesn't come around anywhere else, but at least here he's got a. He loves uh, peach sake, and I so see. I uh, have some over in the back, and well, I'm the only one that supplies it, so maybe that's the only reason it comes to visit me. <laughs> well, maybe. I'm sure your company also is a plus. Oh, I'd hope so, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for giving us all the information on your friends. Um, is Wukong also part of your little group you used to have, or...? Oh. No, no, uh, he, we asked him one time if he would help us out and, uh, join our little group, but he, uh, he didn't feel like it, didn't like, um, well, that there was someone else in the group, um, real, real close to the goddesses she was, uh, he, he didn't get along too well with her, oh. so, uh, didn't really want to help out with that. Is she hmm. still around? <laughs> no, no, uh, she's oh. not. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> uh, she actually probably would have been able to help you a, a lot. Hmm. But uh, maybe. No, she had a she had a knack for pretty. Uh, I guess you'd call it um, holy magics. Something like that, but I never fully understood it, but she like was good a, at it. Like a cleric or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, a cleric. <laughs> well, wish she was still around so she could help, but I'm <laughs> so sure she's I. hanging out with the goddesses somewhere, right? Oh, I'd imagine. She's real buddy-buddy <laughs> with them, so... Sure she's having a great time. Oh, well. Thank you for all your help, Willard. We really appreciate it. You've, from the beginning, been nothing but kind to us, and, um, thanks a lot. Oh, of course. Well, there's no use in being mean to someone I don't know. <laughs> and you guys made a good impression, so thought I'd do the offer the same. Well, thank you. A lot. I we should probably get back and rest. All right. Yeah. Please rest. Uh, if you're gonna be doing anything crazy, especially if you're thinking of going to visit Bonnie, <laughs> she might sap some energy out of you. She's uh, oh. energetic. I we'll see. Leave that. Got it. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for your help. We'll see you around, okay? Yeah. Feel free to come by nice anytime. Have a nice day. You too. Um, um. Why did you make a shrine for a goddess? Well, at first it was just to be a fountain. And then the locals said that this would be a great spot for just a little shrine for those who do pray to the goddesses. Hmm. So... I thought it doesn't hurt to put a little sign on it to make it a shrine. It's the only real difference. That and I think uh, someone from like some church came and blessed the water. That's the only real difference. <laughs> but outside of that, it's basically just a fountain. Anyways, uh, you have a good rest of your day, okay? You too. I'm going to try to get some sleep, and I might continue working on the railway. Yeah, I'll continue what I usually do. <laughs> Sounds good. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Sure. <laughs> Don't overwork yourself. I, I, know, you. I know you can hear me. I'm not that far away. I'm going to cover my ears now. <sighs> Uh, 
buddies. Let's take a nap. <laughs> Thank you.